1981 we brought in the Charter Rights and Freedoms, which wasn't passed by the Prime Minister, it was passed by nine provinces and the Prime Minister. It's a national document that applies to everyone here today and everyone all over Canada. To understand Except for the creation of the country in 1867, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms is by far the most important document in the history of our country since we were a country. It is the most important one because it applies to you and me equally. Yes. Every individual on this planet is unique. Like every snowflake is unique, every individual is unique. And therefore, when you get a document which says that I have the, these freedoms and I have these rights, that means every single one of us, from Dufino to Iqaluit to Bonavista to the Niagara Peninsula, every Canadian is equal and has equal rights before the law. Yes. Section 2, Section 2 of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, what does it say? It says you have freedom of expression, you have freedom of conscience, you have freedom of religion. You have freedom of expression and you have freedom of the press. What else does it say? It says you have freedom to associate. You, you have freedom to assemble. And in section 6 it says you have the right to travel anywhere in this nation, anytime. freedom to leave this country if you so want. But most importantly for a lot of people who now see this, it also says in section 6, you have the right to pursue a livelihood anywhere in this country. You have the right to pursue a livelihood anywhere in this country and they take our taking jobs away inside the government and outside the government and threatening others of their jobs and then number seven says section seven says you have the right listen to this one to life liberty as dr Nagasi talked about and dr hoff talked about and you also have the right to your security of the person nobody is allowed to touch you unless you agree Section 15 says, to top it all off, we weren't satisfied with those three. We topped it off by saying, every person in Canada is equal before the law. You're, you're just as equal as Justin Trudeau. You're just as equal as John Horgan. You're just as equal as Adrian Dix. And by then, you're really just as equal as Bonnie Henry. seat to anybody. No, no. You have your rights and your freedoms as an individual. This business of group rights and this business of lobby group rights and all the rest of it completely disguises your rights as an individual. And we've got to be very careful going forward that we don't lose these rights to these groups, that they take over and dominate the government of British Columbia or the government of any province. You must remain steadfast that as an individual you come first. The groups come second that you form with. You, and that's very important for any democracy anywhere in the world. When the individual gets submerged by a group or something else, that's the beginning of the decline of our democracy. Yeah. So those four sections of the Constitution and of the Charter of Rights are absolutely sacrosanct, okay? And then we've got people out, out there who are trying to say to me and to others, 